This is Asta of Asta Command. We are here for you. Hello, Asta. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hello. We, we would love to discuss with you the concept or the place or whatever that is, uh, Shambhala. I think many people would be interested. interested. Uh, I'm definitely Yes, uh, Shambhala is not the concept. It is the one of the, um, the easiest way to describe it, the holy spot. But unlike Mount Shasta or other places, the Shambhala is not somewhere everybody can see because Shambhala is placed in 5D dimension. So unless you have certain frequency and you have ability to see or feel, not a regular person can visit. But that is one of the portal point and when the higher beings are creating the grid that is one of the portal point um, to send higher frequency grid energy to to create a grid, grid structure all over earth and, and is also a place that you can make appointment to meet with higher beings. So you said that this uh, this exists in the fifth dimension. Uh, yes, on yeah. Earth. On Earth, I okay. That's what what wanted to ask. Is it in a specific area of the Earth in the fifth dimension or in throughout the whole planet? People say it's near Asia. Mm. like near Himalayan mountain, but that is a human concept. When we're talking about dimension, dimension doesn't have any location. Dimension is more of the frequency. So when you shift your frequency to fifth frequency or 5D, you can see it, you can feel it, so you can go there. You don't need a map to locate yourself and to see how far the chamber is. When you have a frequency, you are there. You set the intention and then you're, you're vibrating 5D, you are there. And there are beings there who are, let's say, residents, in this place or is this just a place that people beings go come and go in general people go uh, come and go but originally the wise man in asia the people who reached their enlightenment they're the one who imagined this place they are the original creator of this space through their imagination and the concept wow so they they could reside there yes they do in a way but they are not let's say they're not the one who is greeting you and then you will interact with just because they are the original creator, so they chose to live there, but they don't need to because this is this is almost like a healing center space, healing center meeting sp space slash the portal point. So when a galactic ship is visiting to earth the ship use a couple of 
put a point to go into earth from whichever the portal point, the one portal point to the other portal point. Shambhala is the one that people are using as a point as well from other galaxies. Okay, so they're yeah. kind of like passing, passing through. Or going to earth. Mm to do observational activity from 5D and above. Mm. And do, um, what kind of beings exist, exist there? You mean Shambhala, the mm. original elders? Mm. They are there. Mm. But um, basically they're the place you meet with higher beings. So a lot of ascended master prefer to meet not their people, but people who made appointment with them there. And uh, do humans visit this place? Like, I mean, yes. you know, humans who are still incarnate and they Maybe at night they travel with their astral body. Yes. Hmm. Okay. What would be the purpose? Why, why one would one... Um... To meet with us and the masters, to meet with their guide, to get healing. Hmm. Can anybody do this? No. So what You have to meet 5D frequency. That's a minimum requirement mm. because Shambhala is vibrating 5D. So if you have frequency 5D and above, you can get in. Mm. Okay. So not all. If, if you're vibrating less than 5D, well, you can even access. And then let's say if you are doing visualization meditation to go to Shambhala, for example, mm. and then you see the gate. Is a gate protected by a statue of lions or a lion looking figure, and you can get in. The door won't be open, or gate won't be open. Mm -hmm. So that is a minimum requirement. But often, the time when people are sleeping, they are. They are uh, free from their mind. So it is easier for them to access their core frequency, which is 5D. So let's say when they are awake, their mind is dragging their core frequency and person might be vibrating 4.5D or 4.8D or 4.9D. But when they're sleeping, their mind is not working, so they're vibrating 5D. So they, they can access to Shambhala. Yeah, thank you. I, I was about to ask you um, to make this um, uh, explanation. Um, I, I thought that this could be the case. And um, how does this place look like? Does it, um, even if it's in the fifth uh, dimension, does it have like any Mm -hmm. and a lot of structures but um, they are crystal structure so let's say the violet temple Erica frequently, frequently visit it's a it's a it's a in a way Arabic looking temple but taller and very tall, but they're transparent looking and they're all violet. Wow, sounds nice. And vibrating and shining with violet color. So mm -hmm. it looks like transparent, but you don't see inside. Mm -hmm. And then when you go inside, all of the structures are made out of crystals. 
Wow. So all of other temples are like that. Maybe the shapes are different, but they are all crystal buildings with different colors. Other temples are green, emerald temple. So it's green. So green crystal in the structure. And there is a blue temple as well she never visited. And pink one too. But she's only aware of emerald one and uh, the violet one because those two she needed to go to meet with ascended masters. Mm -hmm. Is there nature like forests and mountains and sea? There is a mountain because when the elders imagined this place, they were, they were imagining the um, original structure of the nature in Asia. Mm -hmm. So they are Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear. Okay. Uh, we lost you for for a for a little while. Uh, you were you were saying about the mountains that uh, uh, the oh. mountain. elders imagined original nature, mm. the mountain and nature in Asia. So you could see those if you wanted to. But many people visit there for meeting purpose or healing purpose. So once you go through the gate, all you see is the buildings. Mm. So people are not there for hiking. So they are not exploring the nature part of Chambala. Uh -huh. So the main purpose uh, is healing. It's like healing place. Then. Healing or meeting with ascend the masters because some of some of the light workers or star sheet their guide are ascend masters so mm -hmm. often they decide the meeting point the way they meet mm -hmm. and they often shambhala is the preferable point to meet up Both party. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because I, I have, I have a re recurring dreams of visiting a specific place, which I don't know where it is, and it looks like, I don't know. It looks like Earth, but another dimension of Earth, maybe in that way, with mountains and, but the energy is very high, and, yeah, it's, I thought maybe it's Sambala, but. If you say that people visit there only for healing, then maybe it's not this place. Yes, and Shambhala and also the Telos, what we spoke about, they are connected as well. Because mm. each portals are connected with each other. So let's say people want to go to 5D Shasta from Shambhala, they can. Mm -hmm. Because each each gateway and each each portal point on Earth are connected, and the beings who um, leave their physical body here, people who die, in other words, like do they pass through Tambala or no? You mean when human being deceased, do they mm -hmm. go to Shambhala? Yeah, no. Mm. Okay. They they will go to the life review place. Yeah, yeah. After they go through the light, that's where they they are going. Mm. And the other, except the masters and the and the other souls, like uh, other maybe extraterrestrials. Yes, they could meet um, humans. In Shambhala too, because it is an easy access point for all. So mm -hmm. it's almost like 
let's say everybody know Big Ben. So people are saying, oh, I never visited London. Let's meet each other in front of Big Ben. So everybody know where to go. So that is, this is a kind of the same thing. Like when you are from other space and then you want to meet your person, you are guiding spiritually and they want to meet you in dream or in meditation, they, they often decide that let's meet up in Shambhala. So they do have a, some kind of physical place to meet up and there's a building structure they can meet, mm. like temples. So if one would uh, need, was in need of healing, uh, could, could someone set the intention and uh, go into a meditative uh, state and visit Sambala? Yes. Yeah. So Sambala Shamb is a place for healing, but also activation. Hmm. So what Erika used before she learned her energetic modality, such as matrix energetics, she often visited Shambhala to meet with different ascended masters and they are master of removing implants and devices. So they were doing that procedure for her. She didn't make any um, appointment, but she felt like she needed to go to Shambhala. So she entered the Violet Temple and then she was waiting there and then she saw five ascended masters and then they told her what they are going to do. And they explained the procedure and then she said, okay, let's do it. Mm. So people can do uh, implant removal procedure there as well. By ascended master. Yeah, yeah. And does Samala mean something? Does does it have a, the name has a, a meaning or a purpose? It does have a the uh, sound has every sound does have a frequency. So when people combine the certain sound, it it creates the frequency. So Shambhala embodies the mystical high frequency place. So that's the tonality of the naming. Mm. And was it given by this uh, people? Not given by the name so they do have their own meaning. But when we're talking about vibrationally, that's how it is. And, uh, and if one new um, Earth will move into the fifth dimension, will then it will merge with uh, Shambhala? Or? Yes. So once Earth shifts to 5D, Shambhala will be the place that regular human beings who never visited there can visit hmm. to do healing or to do educational learning from ascended masters or the beings from other stars. Nice. I so it is in a way same thing as you visit the Disneyland. Yes. The people go there for a certain purpose. So Shambhala could be, people could use Shambhala as that kind of purpose, like in a way, it's not an amusement park, but for the purpose of visiting there for healing, for example. Nice. So maybe by then people could explore the nature part of Shambhala because that is untouched. 
You mean that now people can already visit this? Uh... No, when when people shift to 5D. Mm, 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 mm. Because you said what? That nature is untouched? They don't have any civilization structures like buildings or mm. cell phone towers. Yeah. Do they have animals? Yes. Do they look like the animals we have on this on on this in this dimension? Yes, because animals are already vibrating in five D. Mm. So, and they they don't have mind. So they do not have awareness that okay they come from some other place and then suddenly they enter the shambhala the nature part and then they said oh i shifted no they don't have any realization they shifted because they're vibrating in 5d so they're like oh that's part of part of my land to eat more of the things mm -hmm. yeah Nice. Um, I, if I haven't done it already, I will, and I um, don't remember, I will definitely um, attempt to go for a visit. Yes, it is a good idea. Um, when your frequency is close enough, um, raise frequency through by uh, meditation. Let's say if you're vibrating 4.9D or something like that. You are listening to this uh, transmission, so we all are in the dimension of 4.9D right now. So technically, when you do visualization, meditation to visit Shambhala, and then when you are successfully raise the vibration of 5D, you could visit there. Hmm. Very nice. Thank you very much for the introduction to this place, Asta. Yes. Yes. And we would say that people do get help from fellow earth beings, energetic help or spiritual guidance. But sometimes it is a good idea to mingle with ascended masters or angels or elementals if they wanted to mm -hmm. and Shambhala is a such a place they can accommodate the place to meet yeah I see and would you agree if I was uh, if I would add that uh, for perhaps some people who are not aware of this that uh, these beings, these ascended masters and um, angel, angelic guides and some even ET races, they would not um, connect or interfere in people's life unless we give them permission and we, we invite them. In our yes, that's why you need to make an appointment. An appointment. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. When Erica wanted to go to Chambra, she had the uh, intention of, okay, I might have implants. Mm -hmm. um, it's not she was thinking some kind of uh, uh, negative forces are doing some horrible thing, but mm -hmm. she assumed if you have a human body, you live here for a certain time, mm -hmm. and she assumed implants are implanted for everyone, almost, mm. almost everyone, unless you are, you are super high frequency person to begin with, and then you know how to dispel those. Mm. Means if you happen to born in high frequency from day one, so there is no chance for anyone to implant anything. But most of the humans, you go through spiritual awakening. And before that, your vibration is not the level of 
high frequency. Everybody are going through their 3D life period. So that was quite logical because she was a very logical, analytical person before our spiritual awakening. So she was thinking, I must have implanted too. And she didn't want to go to a human being because you never know if that person is from the light or not. So she wanted to go to Ascended Masters. Mm -hmm. So she didn't really name a particular Ascended Masters. She knew the names, but she was like, whoever shows up, that's how I'm supposed to be meeting with. But I just want to remove implants and devices if it's there. Of course, she happened to be reading the material at that time. That was a part of her truth or investigation period. So, of course, she got influenced by that concept. But that is not the concept because the implants and devices are symbolic figure of, let's say, beliefs or programming. They're not necessarily devices, you mean they can it's be not necessarily a device. So mm -hmm. when she met with Ascended Masters, Ascended Masters are explaining what they are removing from her brain and mm -hmm. they are not nuts and bolts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, there is no nuts and bolts are in her brain, but that is a symbolic image of beliefs or programming. Understood, yeah. Uh, would you like in our next episode that we go in detail about implants in general? I think it's an interesting subject to explore. Yes. Okay, I'm looking forward for this one. Thank you very much, Asta. If there's anything else you want to share about Shambhala, um, please go ahead. If you want, go to Shambhala, and then if you feel excited when you're thinking about Shambhala, you do have an in invitation ticket to go there. So all you have to do is either you visit there while you're sleeping or you intentionally go through meditation and then visit there. Mm -hmm. So we will recommend you to visit there when you are super excited by hearing Shambhala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I will, um, I'm thinking as you speak to organize a, <clears throat> a journey workshop group, a group, uh, a group journey for people to take them there perhaps. Yes, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, amazing. Okay. This is hey. Aster of Aster Command. We are here to serve for all of you. Yeah. So that's done. Um, yeah, I visited Shambhala and then that was really cool. Like I remember uh, there's a metallic gate and then the both of the, it's not metallic, but gate is like a gold, like mm -hmm. a golden gate, high gate. And then these are, um, it looks like a lion, but it's kind of like, looks like a griffin, like a mystical looking, like a lion looking like figure, but looks like griffin. I'm, I'm not sure it was griffin because I'm not that visual when it comes to my thing. So that gate has opened automatically, like when I was standing. Then I saw, I think first time I, I was, at the Emerald Temple. So I entered inside of, Emerald Temple was more like a, a square structure, but it's not a square building like we see. It's, it's I'm talking about height. Mm. So it's, it's kind of like temple looking, but it's not tall. Like, um, Purple Temple was more like, a, I don't know if people are aware of St. Patrick's Cathedral, but it's, it's similar to that, like high and tall. Asta said a little bit oriental, I think he said. Yeah, like St. Patrick's Cathedral, but uh, Asian version. Okay. Like high. Mm. And then um, Emelda Temple is more like a, a square 
like a low not high like this yeah and then, uh, the temple like uh, Arabic Asian mm. Indian mixture kind of thing it's not like a wow like Asian looking temple it's it's like it's not like that it's like it's mixture of Arabic Indian Asian like uh, all this mixture of those even like the purple um, purple temple so I went there and then once you go there the floor is of course like a big um, big tile like square tile floor but it's like shining um, the emerald one or um, purple one it, the violet one doesn't matter it was kind of shining like down there and then the whole it's a big hall and then it's empty like they don't have any um furniture or anything it's a big hall why what is the hall it's like huge empty space i guess mm -hmm. and then you go in there and then i already seen like four ascended masters are standing mm -hmm. i guess waiting for me so i spoke to them like hey i want to remove my implants and then they they told me to uh sit in the middle of the they made like a circle like each each ascended master stand and it's you can kind of create a circle like five of them are standing but like when you connect one person to another you can form the circle does it make sense yeah. and i was in the middle yeah and then they are doing the procedure and then i just sat there and then they told me what they're doing and then they say oh everything is removed mm -hmm. i think i remember that procedure and then in violet temple um i did a bunch of activation i don't remember exactly what but i wanted to do a bunch of activation um i also did the activation that uh <laughs> because i couldn't wait to do uh, learn matrix energetics so i was like i want to do matrix energetics right now i can't wait like three months from now and then i was like oh you know i want to meet us i i haven't met aster like so i i made an appointment to meet with aster so I met Ashtar at the uh, purple, like a violet temple. And then where we went was from there, he took me to like, I have no idea what that is. I think it's a figure, figuratively, it's an amusement park looking place. Mm -hmm. and then we had, I hate the roller coaster, but it wasn't scary. So he put me to the roller coaster rider thingy and he was there and he was like, oh, we do matrix energetics procedure while we are riding this uh, roller coaster. So I did meet Asta there too. Nice. <laughs> for, the, for the first time, not for the first time, I know him in the ship, but for the, for the first time we consciously, uh, not sleeping, but consciously me, kind of meditating mm. so I could see his face and talking and stuff like that yeah nice so yeah that was that was cool but nice. nothing was inside both emerald or violet mm. no furniture it's just a big empty hall mm. because I think they're gonna do the uh, procedure to you or meet so I guess that's enough. You don't need a furniture. I guess you don't need to sit down. Yeah. I don't think there are chairs or table there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And if everyone who's watching has any experiences from Shambhala, uh, share. Please share with us. Yeah, share with us. Alrighty. Yeah. So that's about it. Thank you, Erica. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm looking forward for our next one to talk about implants. Astor said he would like to talk to us about implants, right? Yeah, and then visit my uh, YouTube channel too because I have other transmission with Astor and others. 
Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.